let's take a look at the cameras I used this is a film camera I couldn't find uh, the exact model but nothing fancy like this very simple uh, film camera I think I started around uh, 95 these were uh, quite pricey around uh, 2500 rupees or around uh, 40 dollars or so but the film was really expensive around uh, 2 dollars for the film which was quite costly at the time it would cost 500 rupees to get the photos developed which was around uh, 10 dollars or so and uh, very pricey so it was only for uh, special occasions from there uh, I went to this camera this was the first camera with a LCD screen on it it was the Casio QV10 I think I bought this around 1998 paid around uh, 15,000 rupees for the time uh, this was uh, almost futuristic it had a small uh, 1.8 inch LCD screen on it so you could see the photos at this time uh, I didn't even have a phone so this was something really amazing and you could uh, twist the lens to take a selfie it had only 2 MB of memory so you could take around uh, 30 to 90 photos depending on the quality of them it was really amazing to use and now uh, quite futuristic the full quality photos from these were uh, as big as a uh, CD covers still it was quite amazing for the time this worked with uh, two AA batteries it had no memory card the memory was built in then I went to this Agfa CL10 in uh, 2000 this was very cheap only 2500 or around uh, 40 dollars or so I think it had uh, around 1 megapixel uh, photos it was really cheap and uh, very small that's why I bought this and uh, photos were uh, quite okay for what you paid then I bought the Nikon Coolpix 2100 in uh, 2003 this cost me around uh, 12,500 or around uh, 200 dollars or so this had a resolution of uh, 2 megapixel which was quite impressive for the time this had a memory card you could take around uh, 200 to 300 uh, pictures on this so this came uh, quite handy for uh, quite a few events then I bought this Sony Cybershot DSC H10 in uh, 2006 paid around uh, 15,000 rupees or around uh, 230 dollars or so again uh, this had a uh, 8 megapixel so the pictures were uh, really good and it also had a rechargeable battery and a nice screen so really good camera then I bought my first DSLR this is the Canon 550D it came with the kit lens bought this in 2012 for uh, 36,000 uh, rupees or around uh, 550 dollars amazing picture quality it had a resolution of 18 megapixel and a long rechargeable battery it was pretty amazing making video was not its strong point few of my earlier videos were uh, done with this and the last one is uh, the Fuji Insta Mini this I got for a YouTube review paid about uh, 4500 or around uh, 70 dollars or so but the film is really expensive each photo costs around a dollar I have about uh, 8 more photos to go once the film is done uh, I don't think I will be paying for a new roll they are really expensive but I uh, always wanted to try out the instant camera this can shoot photos and uh, even 4k and uh, has a dual lens on it and fits in my pocket it still has about uh, 13 GB left in it so I can take nearly 
4500 uh, photos on this or a couple of hours of uh, 4k video it's kind of amazing to see how good the technology has become now so i don't think i'll be buying any more cameras quite nice check it out